Okay, this is a quick tutorial on how to assemble a H4-2 HID bulb. Um, what I have here is a H4-2 bulb. It, what that means is it has a for low beam HIDs and for high beam and daytime running lights, it has a regular halogen like the stock bulb. Um, when you install this, you won't get any air lights saying that your daytime running light is out or so forth. Um, some people prefer this one, some people prefer the Bi-Xenon one. Bi-Xenon one basically has one HID bulb. Um, it's controlled by a solenoid um, that comes with a Bi-Xenon harness that will move the shield back and forth between high and low. And so it doesn't have a high beam bulb separate halogen one in there. Um, to assemble this, sometimes if you do get a kit that doesn't come with the wires pre-assembled into the sockets. I'm going to show you how to wire that up. Um, it are these are the sockets um, that are used. Um, basically, what you need to do is here's your little socket for these two wires right here, and here is the socket for the H4 connector for these three wires right here. Um, this is a sample of. Uh, ballast. Um, a lot of the ballast won't come like this. It'll actually have a wire sticking out of here and it'll actually be marked which side is the positive and which side is the negative. Okay, um, to connect these two wires, what these two wires will be connected into is this socket and this is the base that connects it into this. And once everything's connected, it's going to connect into your ballast. Um, from my previous experience, I know that the top one, it's a positive and bottom one's negative. If you don't know that, if you look at the side of where the wire comes out, it, should have, it shouldn't be like this. It should have a wire coming out and with the connector looking like this. It would be marked positive and negative so you know which one is which. Um, again, the positive is red and negative is black. Um, since I know the top one's positive for mine and the bottom one is uh, negative. That's how I'm going to assemble it. And if you look, one side has a clip, the other side doesn't. And I know for a fact that it only clips through this way. And so again, I'm going to put the positive up here on the top one and negative in the bottom. Okay, to assemble this, um, the positive is going to be on the top, the negative is in the bottom. To um, put this together, if you look, there are little grooves in the middle of the socket that's where you want the you see this one right here there's like a little tip right here and also a tip this tip side has to be into that little slot grooves in there and so I'm going to take the red positive since I know this one's going to be the positive with the groove side up I'm going to stick it into the hole and you should hear a little click and you see how that um, that tip is in that groove and you get the negative again and you put it inside and that's in the little groove now after you've done that this is the connector in the bottom right up the two you see that there's like a little two prongs that's where the wires would go and so place the two wires like so and then just push up and it clips into the side. Now these are the three wires. Um, it depends on if your H if your car has um H4 uh, positive switched or negative switch. Uh, majority of the Hondas that I work with are all negative switch, and so I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, here's the three prongs. What you need to do is um, here's one wire that has two ground wire coming through it, one's from the halogen bulb and one's from the HID bulb. This one is going to be going inside. If you look at this uh, top like this, it's going to be going into the very far right. And again, this has a little groove right there, as you can see. That needs to correspond with the groove on that end, like you see that how it has a little groove. And so, push it in and you'll hear a clip so it doesn't come out anymore. Oops, actually I put the wrong bulb in there. Okay, okay 
that's the wrong one. Here's the common ground I meant. Common ground one goes to the far. Let's see. Far right like that. And then the red one goes to the top. Goes to the top like that. And then the single black one goes to the far left. And like that. And so, again, if you look from the back, the common ground, which were the ho halogen and the HID one, went to the far right. Um, the middle one was the red one, and the far left was this one. So this connector will go into your stock HID H4 female socket on your stock housing for the headlights. This end that you just assembled will actually go into your ballast. And so it will be like this. Right? And you would connect these two, the one that's the wire that's coming from the ballast to the wire from the bulb. You can only put a one way female and male connectors. So you put them on like so. And so you have that connected, that connected, and only thing that you have left are these right here. Oh, sorry. Are these right here. So this will go into the socket of your headlight. Um, this will connect to your wire harness or your stock wiring for your uh, H4 headlights. And once that's in, turn it on and it should work. Um, I highly recommend that you use a wire harness to install the H4 bulbs, HID bulbs. It draws power directly from the battery. Um, that way you can avoid any flicker issues or not turning on power issues or whatnot. Um, it, that's the correct way to do it. But if you don't want to spend the money to get a HID um, harness kit, you can technically put this into the regular stock house, you know, light bulb, and it, it will. It technically it will work, but you might have some flickering issues and stuff like that. But it's up to you. But so there you go. Here is the H4 kit all together. There's your ballast. Here's your here's your HID bulb. From the HID bulb, you're gonna have two connectors that connects to the ballast. You know, that connects to the ballast, like so. And from the bulb, you're gonna have a connector that you connect to the ballast. And from the ballot, uh, from the bulb, you're gonna have a H4 connector that you connect to your stock wire harness. And one last thing. Um, this is not going into my car. Um, I'm only putting this together just to show you how to assemble a H4-2 um, HID kit. Um, I'm gonna be doing a retrofit like my uh, all my other cars that I've done. I'm gonna put um, projectors in it and then and put a. Uh, H1 bulbs to 4300K probably and put it in there but this is just a tutorial to show you how to put this kind of bulb together along with the socket for a negative switch socket um, so hopefully this helps you guys out if you guys have any questions um, leave me a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can thanks